Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the comic shop. It's BZ Comics. Normally, I show you how I make my helmets, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I got a free scan of my head and how I make sure everyone fits me perfectly. Let's get right into it. Okay, so there are a bunch of 3D scanners that you can actually use or purchase off of Amazon, but of course, after buying a 3D printer, I may have cost you three, four hundred bucks. Some of these scanners go up from three hundred to seven hundred bucks or maybe even more, and that could break the bank for most people. So a cool thing, uh, this is not a sponsored video, is uh, Scandy Pro. That's what I'm gonna be using today and showing you exactly how to use it. One cool tip, if you do have any kind of do-rag, head stocking, anything like that, you guys have seen me wear this in a couple of my videos, uh, this definitely helps. The reason I'm doing this now, because as you guys can see, my hair has grown out a little bit more. So this actually sucks everything down and makes a much better scan for you. Okay, so starting off with the app, they actually, this actually looks like an update because it didn't look like this when I first started. But what they do now is they give you a couple of options. So as you can see, I'll actually screen record this part as well so that way you can see it a little better. But they actually give you options for what you're gonna be scanning. So they give you hands and small objects, heads, faces, torsos, and so on and so forth. Before they gave you just like a grid and you would have to move like the little bar over to pretty much get like the kind of quality that you want. But that's a cool update to the feature that they have now where you can just pretty much select exactly what you want to work with and then get going from there. So I'm going to go ahead and select head faces and go from there. And just so you can see what you'll do to get to that option is just click this little box here. Now you will see other features listed here as well and like a little drop down tab as well. Don't worry about those. I'm just gonna be showing you guys basically what you need to be using. It's either gonna be this small box here or this noise filter here. And what the noise filter does is if you're not gonna be using like a white wall like how I'm gonna be doing over there, this pretty much closes out some of that background noise. So if you have like picture frames, anything like that, you can adjust this noise filter so that way it blocks that stuff out. Now, it is a good tip to have somebody help you with this. They used to have like a little platform where it was like a Wi-Fi signal up at the top where you can click. And as you can tell, I have two phones. So with that second phone, I'd be able to see exactly what I'm doing. But now, as you can see, I have a lighting stand that you can see like in this capture here, which is going to help me because it's going to keep me on a level plane. So that way, all I have to do is spin. As you can see, I have quite the lazy assistance. <laughs> So bear with me because I'm gonna basically be recording this all by myself. So now I'm gonna throw on my head stocking. And of course, I'm gonna have this screen recording as well so that way you guys get like a, a two part, that way you guys can see my screen of what I'm doing here. And you guys can um, see how I'm doing it as well. So I'm gonna be talking in like two different worlds. So I have everything set up here. I have my face in the screen and now I'm just going to hit this record button and start to scan. Now you want to make sure that the screen stays green. And then it says scanning the whole way through. So I'm kind of like looking through the side of my eye. Let's start that again. It takes a couple times. Again, this is where it would help for somebody to be here because I can't see what I'm doing as I spin to the backside, but this should come out pretty good. Basically, you want to stay the same distance for the whole thing. Keep giving it tries until you get exactly what you want. I like kind of like perfection, so it's gonna take me a couple more tries.
All right, and then after a couple of goals, I'll screen record this as well. So just in case this like looks a little funky. But after a couple of goals, you'll get something that looks just like this. That's all right. I don't have to have this perfect. I have the base of what my head looks like. This is good enough to tell me like whether or not a helmet's gonna fit. Now, one thing that I didn't mention is that this is a free app, but they do have a paid version. So once a day, you do get a free scan. Now, what that means is you guys see me do this like more than once. But what it means is once you hit that saves 3D scan, that pretty much starts your 24 hours, uh, your 24 hour one, one day print from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save scan because I like this one. And as you can see, that's the old version that I had of myself and this is the new. So let's go to the new. And then once you're in here, you do have a couple of different options. So I can edit this. And then they give me different features. So I can auto clean, fill holes, decimate, smooth the whole line. Let's go ahead and try fill holes. Because as you see at the top of my head, I had a couple of holes. And from here, I'm just going to crop. Because I don't want everything that's in there. I just want from my goatee pretty much up so all of my chest everything like that i don't want in there so i just hit the crop and then apply and i just got my dome again you can get this as perfect as you want i'm not gonna cry about the top of my head not being there because i still have like the front of my head so when i'm scaling my helmets you'll see what i mean but i don't really need that as much after that, after you're complete and happy with everything that you scan, go ahead and hit save at the bottom. And then I can save as, so I'm gonna call this B-R-Y-A-N, which is my name, two, three. Jordan numbers, and boom. And then from here, as always with iPhone, they give you a share button. Obviously I wanna share this as an STL because that's how my Kira Slicer is gonna be able to understand this and then I hit export and then you see here they give you the different options so as I was mentioning earlier they do have a, a version that you can pay but I'm gonna get oh they changed it as well there so it's one a week that you can do now it used to be one a day so a lot of people must be using this and then of course just airdrop since I have an iPhone I'm in a MacBook I'm gonna just choose the airdrop option but you do have several different options. And one thing that I may not have mentioned in the beginning is you wanna have a X type iPhone. Okay, now once you're done uh, with the exporting of the file, this is just my old model in the background. You're just gonna take it from where you put it and upload it. Now, a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like, what the heck is that? That's not what I scan. I mean, I just did all that scanning and that's not the size of my head. So with Scandi Pro, it is a free app again. I guess they do this so that way it's not like a humongous file. You'll see it in the info tab. So I'll leave a screen recording so that way you guys can see side by side. But they make it rather small. And I guess that they do this so again, just like I mentioned, so that way when you send it over, it's not this humongous file that takes hours to send over. But you're still gonna need some type of basic measuring tape so that way you can get the size of your head. Again, use a measuring tape. They do have, uh, Thingiverse does have files where you can get like calipers, anything like that. But basically what you wanna do is measure around your head from ear to ear, because that's gonna be the widest point. That's what I did with the first model here. It was a little confusing to me at first, so that's why, again, I'm making this video so that way you guys don't have to go through that, that, um, that annoying stage, but just looking at the size here from millimeters, I think my head is about like five and a half, maybe six inches from ear to ear. I have big ears, don't make fun of me, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but what you'll wanna do is basically take the measurement that you get in inches and convert that to millimeters and then transfer that, transfer that over to your file. I'm gonna go by the Z axis cause that's the main thing that I want from the top of my head to the bottom. So that way everything else kind of like rounds out. So as you can see for me, it's 294. I'm not gonna get like all the smaller numbers there. You basically get the point. So as you see, it's 28 millimeters here. So now I'm gonna put 294 and wapa, there we go. 
there goes my head <laughs> and just to give you a side by side view no my head didn't grow again it's just that i have an afro now so you'll see that those are the two same sizes of course this one's going to be a little bit higher even though i have the stocking cap on again my hair did grow a little bit more which is why i'm updating this file but once you have that you're pretty much good to go all right and then from there there are different tools now i'm using a macbook so with my macbook i don't have the access to use mesh mixer I only have the access to use slicer which is why i use slicer each time but what you want to do with mesh mixer is pretty much clean up the model so you see in my old model i have like a whole bunch of nonsense in the back from the slice itself again this is more like a tutorial i wasn't getting or shooting for something perfect so i'll still use like my old model but basically from there all you'll do is just make sure the helmet fits if there's any tweaking that you have to do from there fixing you'll be able to see from there but that gives you a basic idea of how this helmet is going to fit and how to achieve what you're looking for and there you go there you have it the tips the tricks and the secrets now i do have another video on how i scale them to actually fit my head so pretty much how i work the file open the file, make it a little wider, uh, make it a little smaller to actually fit perfectly. And again, I know the mesh mixer or the file that I actually just scanned didn't look the greatest. I didn't want to scare you guys with how to use mesh mixer or how to use slicer on how to cut everything down to get it exactly right, how to fill in all of those gaps. I'm not a 3D modeler, but as you can see earlier, I got it done. That's not what this video was for. This video is to just basically show you how you can use that app to scan your head and get a basic file from there. Not everything I make is to wear though, but if this video did help you, definitely as always guys, hit the like button, hit the share button because if you've seen this and it helped you, you never know who else it can help. And then definitely hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for everything else that I'm gonna be making in the future. It's PZ Comics, I'm out. So I have a couple more prints that I'm going to be making. One, I'm not going to say because you guys kind of liked it a lot already. So I'm going to be making like a part two to that. So stay tuned for that. And another one that I've been thinking about making is the Blue Beetle helmet. That's coming up shortly in theaters. So hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned.